What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video and we gotta talk about what happened on this episode of Friday Night Smackdown. They did not waste any time on letting us know what The Rock had to say tonight. The Rock has been on a roll today with his promo, uh, I guess you can say segment he had by himself on instagram 21 minutes of him going in on cody and seth rollins and tonight they damn near gave us 30 40 minutes at the beginning of the show of roman and the rock and and the rock going in on the people that was in attendance and going in on triple h and going in on cody Rhodes and seth rollins and it is just so much has happened this this was insanity and i loved it so much the process and they dropped it at the beginning of the show because this was, this is what people wanted to see. This was great. This was fantastic, man. Also, uh, we ended up finding out why the, the Fox uh, footage kept blacking out. Apparently, there was a guy in the crowd, which I did see at one point. He had a sign that said, Die, Rocky, Die. Um, for those who don't know, back in the day when... Uh, the Rock first came onto the scene as a baby face at, as Rocky Maivia. The crowd would chant, die, Rocky, die. And they had signs saying, die, Rocky, die. So that's why the feed kept cutting in and out because they were trying to blur the image. But I, I honestly, if, if you don't want it to be on scene on television, you should have had somebody from security just tell them, hey, we, we're going to have to confiscate the sign. Something because it, it kind of, it was messing up the flow of of what um the rock was saying during this promo segment but nevertheless appreciate everyone that was a part of the live stream on twitch and on youtube we had a great time let's get right into this because we got a lot to talk about so roman comes out there starts off the show he does his normal stuff you know he says hey everyone in attendance tonight acknowledge me you heard the booze you heard the cheers and roman is like Hey, man, uh, that, that wasn't as loud as it used to be. I said, everybody here, acknowledge me. He did it again. It got a little bit louder. He's like, wait, that ain't it. Y'all don't. Hey, I did my obligations. I showed up. You don't acknowledge me like you need to. I'm out of here. They did it one more time. And you can tell he was irritated. He's like, you know what, man, Paul, go ahead. Fire up the jet. Let's get the hell up out of here. I'm over it. Right? Paul Heyman's like, well, sir, we can't leave. And Roman's like, why? Because The Rock, he's not here yet. We're waiting for him to show up. And you can tell he was irritated. He was irritated, visibly irritated. The Rock comes out there. And the whole time, Roman doesn't care. He's, he's more or less annoyed that he has to stay to wait to see what The Rock has to say, honestly. This was really good just... Watching, watch him on the side. If you go back and watch this segment, for the majority of the promo, he does not give two Fs about what The Rock is saying. And I love that. Love that. There's subtle, subtle storytelling without it being, you know, outwardly pushed out there. So The Rock comes out there. You hear some boos. You hear some cheers. And he uh, decides to do what he did last week start to talk about the city he was in they were uh not too far from arizona tonight and he was like you know what arizona's known for this is this is a fact <laughs> they are known for the most uh um what they said he said the most cocaine and meth users in the united states or something like that and that was that was quite hilarious he basically started going in on the city like he did uh, I don't think it was last week. I think it was like the week before last when he was winning on the city that he was in at that particular time. So I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Rock healing it up. He had this nice little Versace shirt. This time he had it tucked in. It was actually pretty cool or whatnot. But he's he started to say, you know, I'm in a good, you know, I'm I'm trying to be in a good mood. You know, I'm trying to be I'm trying to, you know, be excited about this WrestleMania season. You know what I'm saying? People are excited to see um me and roman reigns like we we have made wrestling cool again that's what he was he started talking about me and roman reigns have made wrestling cool again you know who's not cool 
the Cody crybabies and Cody and, and Seth Rollins. He keeps calling him a clown, which is fucking hilarious. Those guys are not cool. And this is when he started proposing some stuff, which a lot of us have been speculating and they have been teasing. And this was kind of a confirmation tonight. Not even kind of. This was a confirmation that this match most likely will happen. So, The Rock decided to answer whether or not he would face Cody Rhodes one-on-one. He said, you want to go one-on-one with the great one? The answer is no. You're not worthy to go one-on-one with the great one. But you seem real confident. You seem you want to talk tough. You and your your clown-ass friend Seth Rollins want to talk tough. How about this? For WrestleMania night one, Seth Rollins, Cody Rose versus Roman Reigns and The Rock. And automatically, I'm like, yep, that, there, there we go. And they've been teasing it. That sounds like that's going to be the main event for night one. But then he said he added a stipulation. He said, how about this? I'll make it sweeter. If you guys do win, then Bloodline is banned from ringside. We'll put it in a contract. They will not be able to be at WrestleMania this year. All the Bloodline members will be banned. Everyone. Everyone will be banned. And we'll put it in paper, put it in writing. It will just be you and Roman if you can win. But if y'all lose, which y'all will lose, then the match becomes bloodline rules. Anything goes. He said, Solo could be out there singing the national anthem. I can be sitting out there on commentary, have a steel chair in my hand. I can crack you over the head with it. Knock your skull off. Like, I mean, anything goes. Bloodline will be able to do whatever they want. And he, he also added an extra stipulation to it. Now, if you guys don't accept this challenge, then I will do everything in my power to make sure that you, Cody, lose and don't win the championship. And I'm pretty sure the same goes to Seth Rollins. He is going to do everything in his power to make sure Seth Rollins loses his championship because he said, I am on the board. I am W. I'm a, I'm above you. I am WWE. I'm above you. I am y'all boss, essentially. What he said also in his promo on Instagram. I am y'all boss, so you have to do what I say. And it doesn't matter oh, about the general manager or the vice president or who gives a shit, Triple H. I was like, oh, once again, me talking is talking, being disrespectful to Triple H. I love, I love that. He said, it doesn't matter about none of that. At the end of the day, I am your boss. I love how he raised the stakes just a little bit more for Cody because now Cody has to fight in this tag team match with Seth Rollins. And if they lose this match, which I do think they will per storyline wise, if they lose this match, now Cody has to fight an uphill battle. It's not even which we kind of knew was going to happen, even if the ref was involved, which I, I actually do like this route because it, I got an, I think not just me. I think a lot of us have gotten tired of the former leg Roman Reigns matches where we know the ref is going to get distracted and the bloodline is going to help. So now you eliminate that. It doesn't matter now. The ref is a non-factor in that. Now it's just, okay, we know there's going to be some bloodline shenanigans. Let's get it off to the, get it off to the start and let's go from there. And it's one of those things where it's like, now the deck is truly going to be stacked against Cody to overcome the odds. How he's going to do that. So I, I love what they're doing here. The Rock is pushing his power, essentially. He's pulling a power move. It's going to be very interesting to see what Triple H has to say about that as well. Um, they're supposed to be giving their answer, Seth and Cody, on next week's SmackDown in the face-to-face. -face, and that's going to be must-see TV. But that wasn't it. No, 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 no. See, they were cooking on multiple layers tonight. There was the Cody, Seth Rollins, and the Rock storyline. Then now you have the Triple H and the Rock battle for power side storyline. And then you have this Rock and Roman Reigns 
tension storyline. So there's like three different layers to this cake that they're all cooking at the same time. So before The Rock does his patented catchphrase, if can you if you smell right when he's about to raise up the mic, Roman stopped him. And The Rock looks up at him and I'm like, this was oh, this was this was so good. The crowd's chanting, holy shit, off of Roman stopping The Rock from doing, if you smell his catchphrase, that's how you know you got the people invested. They're chanting, holy shit, off of that. It was such a great moment to see, right? So Roman says, you know what? I'll do anything for my family, but I need one thing from you. I need you to acknowledge me. This was so fucking good. Roman didn't care about nothing else but The Rock acknowledging him. That's the only thing he cared about. Nothing. Just The Rock acknowledging him. And someone had said in the chat, everyone's acknowledged Roman. Even Solo, when he joined the bloodline, he acknowledged him. But when The Rock aligned himself with the bloodline, he never acknowledged Roman yet. Someone said that before the show started, so the fact that this happened, you guys have the script. But that was great. So The Rock takes off his shades. He looks at Roman, picks up the mic, and he says, Roman Reigns, I acknowledge you. And that was such a surprising moment. But it looked like The Rock, he kind of, you know, he stuttered a little bit. It wasn't like a just a full out. I, I acknowledge you. It looked like there was some hesitation, but either way, he got the Rock to acknowledge Roman Reigns, right? So now he's about to do his his stick. If you smell, then he passes the microphone to Roman, and Roman says, "What the bloodline is cooking." Oh, I forgot to mention they they had a handshake. And, you know, they embraced each other. And that's when you knew. Now now he's he's fully initiated into the bloodline. So now, it, now Roman's ready to go. But once again, that tension, that is the, that's going to be the most important thing coming out of this WrestleMania. I'm telling you right now. That tension they having, we're seeing, we're seeing it. And if I'm Cody and if I'm Seth, that's what I try to pick apart. And I hope Cody needs to do this on SmackDown when they have the face to face. Seth needs to back it up. Because Seth and Cody have a common, a common thing right now to protect WWE from Roman and The Rock, right? <clears throat> but what they need to do is play up the fact that their egos are so big that is going to cause them problems. They need to play up the fact that The Rock knows he's bigger than Roman and Roman needs that acknowledgement from The Rock just to make himself feel better. They need to play that up. Play up that dissension. Play up their egos or they're not going to be able to work together like they think they will. Play that up. That, that play, start getting into the psychological warfare of it. Like, that's crazy. That's that's really interesting, you know, that The Rock is acknowledging Roman Reigns when we all know. We know we know how hard that was for The Rock to admit that. The Rock doesn't ever admit anything. So what we're saying is Roman is better than The Rock? No, that's not the people's champ I know. That was not the guy that was went 21 minutes on Instagram. That's not him, the big movie star. You, that's where we're going? Oh, now it's about family. Right, right, right. But, Rock, let me propose this question. If I did give up my WrestleMania spot for you to face Roman, I'm pretty sure you felt like you was going to win, right? I'm pretty sure you felt like you just wanted to sit at the head of the table, right? How do you think Roman would have felt about that, right? Do you think Roman would have just gave you the title? Huh? This is the match you want. Roman thinks he's better than you. Rock feels like he's better than Roman. So at the end of the day, you acknowledging Roman Reigns really just proves the point 
that Roman really is at the head of the table and he's above you. And that's that's quite interesting, Rock. I never thought I'd see the day. Play that up. I hope they do something like that. That would be oh so good. Play that up. But I do still think that um I just think the way they're setting it up, Roman and The Rock, I feel like there's obviously gonna be some cheating. There's gonna be some 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 BS. And I think we're gonna end off night one. I think Seth is gonna eat the pin. Either yeah, I can either see Seth eating the pin because you don't want Cody to eat the pin right before he faces Roman. And I, I think it's gonna be a situation where I could see Seth maybe eating the pin there. And then it ends off the show, ends off maybe somebody like Michael Cole, like, is this what we're gonna see tomorrow night when Cody faces Roman against all of the bloodline by himself? How is he gonna overcome that? He couldn't even overcome it with help. How is he going to overcome it tomorrow night? We're going to tune in to see. I think that's what's going to happen. And then you have people have his back and he finally overthrows. He finally overcomes the bloodline and he finally wins. And also the question, what happens with Seth and Drew? Does that happen night one? Does the bloodline members call Seth night one and Seth is pissed? And he's ready to go, but he's not at 100%. How is it going to happen? I don't know. But I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued. This is crazy. This is It's 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 wild what's happening right now in the world of professional wrestling, especially in WWE. But comment down below. Let me know. What did you guys think of this overall segment? Um, are you guys just as hyped as I am for um, Monday Night Raw to see what Cody and Seth is going to say? And also that 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 face-to-face -face interaction between cody seth roman and the rock are you guys just excited because i know i am and I, i'm really just ready for wrestlemania to get here I, I i i don't know how this is gonna play out but i'm alone for the ride but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace